coming to you live. The project we have in Kibra is building a multi-purpose pitch uh, where the children in uh, Kibra can play, the children of Olympic Primary School. The school has more than 5,800 children, so the pitch has to be of highest, highest international uh, standards. And also we have the high school right there, and the people around the community, we have over 50 local teams in Kibra, and and they still use that same pitch. So we are building a multi-purpose pitch where the children and the community can play football uh, and other sports at the same place. And also we are making sure that the place has lighting so that even in the evening and even into the late hours, the football teams can practice on that same pitch. We are hoping that uh, we'll see more and more uh, skills when it comes to sports and talent uh, coming from Kibra. So that is what the project is all about. It's going to cost 66 million and a lot of that money has been coming from the community around and also from RIG East Africa that is looking into building many more community projects. Right now we've been able to clear the field. We have been able to also just flatten the field and now we are in the next phase where we are putting in pipes that will be used for drainage and after that now is when and we're going to see uh, more of the pitch really coming out uh, because that's when we will have the turf and after that we're going to put a fencing around it and also we are going to have changing rooms and toilets a place where the children can sit uh, watch games and also have lunch over lunchtime uh, do their homework in the evening and also the lighting the 24 hours lighting around the pitch uh, how much has been spent so far so, so far, just to flatten the ground uh, and even to put down the pipes, because the pipes have to be custom made, so far we have spent 6 million shillings and the public has continued to give. We still have around uh, 4 million shillings that people have given. We have also people who have given uh, by promising us around another 3 million and we continue to ask kindly if you promise uh, bring in the funds and we are always happy to give people a tour to see the progress so far, uh, the need in Kibra and also the progress of the project. The biggest support in this year? My, my biggest support. Uh, I have to say uh, the people of, of Kibra have been a great support, uh, starting with even our MP. He has always supported us uh, because we had to first have a lot of meetings within the community just to educate people and get them behind the project. Even as we have been constructing, we have been given uh, staff uh, from the young people of Kibra. A lot of our people working with us are actually from Kibra, the security, it has been the young people just securing the field and ensuring the materials brought in uh, is safe and we've never had an incident in Kibra because of the people of Kibra. They have also been the one talking to people about the project. Uh, also the MP has helped us in looking for people to finance uh, the project and even introducing us to other stakeholders and holding government meetings with us and even when we did the work we had the office of the MP work with me for the 15 days. I have to say RIG has also been a great contribution. They are the ones who have contributed actually most of the money uh, despite us being a very young church. They have given a lot of money, their time. Every week uh, we actually come uh, in Kibra on Saturday just to pray and to do a few activities in Olympic primary. And I'd also like to say a very big thank you to the public who have always been encouraged encouraging us and have been giving and supporting a project uh, that they didn't even know much about until last year in December. So I have to say we have seen a lot of support even from government and I'd like to continue to ask that as a community the government does not always have all the solutions but we can have successful PPPs like the one that we are having with uh, our local MP in Kibra. Now we just like to hear some of the challenges that you encounter during the work. Mm. 
Um, the walk, uh, I, I realized I'm not as physically fit during the walk. Uh, we took three months to prepare every single day, but because of the sun, it was a bit difficult. I didn't realize when you're in a car driving from Mombasa, you don't realize how hilly that whole journey is. Uh, several times we suffered from sunstroke, we got blisters, your health is greatly affected your mind is greatly affected even when we came back uh, you're still affected by the whole uh, routine of the walk so it really took uh, a lot even for us to get to where we are just having our health back and also you miss your family you miss your friends you miss your daily routine uh, you sleep in very interesting hotels uh, and lodgings uh, but I have to say that despite the difficult times that we have that's when you also know Kenyans have a big heart because Kenyans kept on sending messages they would meet us on the road encourage us they give us water they would even offer food and for us to visit uh, their homes and even just getting a lot of support from government the police officers ensured that we were safe they went out of their way nobody ever asked us for a single cent uh, everyone was just willing to support and give whatever they had Tonight's dinner is also another way to create awareness about the project that we have uh, in Kibra. It's also to thank uh, some of the people in that hall are our biggest donors. Uh, people also sacrificed and gave. Uh, a dinner plate was going for actually 60,000, but there are people who even gave 500,000 and onwards, and some said they didn't want to participate in the dinner, they just want to give uh, to Kibra. And it was a good night for us to even meet the people who have been sponsoring and just to even thank them, to appreciate them and to let them know how far the project has gone as the architect also shared and to even just to let them know uh, what are some of the other requirements uh, going uh, further ahead. Some of them have even uh, promised uh, to take up certain parts of the project and cover the costs of those projects. We continue to even urge more sponsors, especially corporate sponsors, uh, to come in and help uh, the Kibra project, especially since we have proven uh, over and over again through different projects that indeed when your money comes to rig, it is used uh, for the things we have shared about, uh, even when you look at the Jamburi prison and also what is going on right now at Olympic Primary. So we are hoping tonight is a night where we appreciate everyone who has participated, including you media. Uh, it is a night to celebrate everyone participating. It is a night to also just create awareness and let people know there is still time for you to join uh, this journey of Olympic Primary School.